So now for this harder example, we will use the solver function in our calculator to solve this FE type question. So we're told here for a given stress state, an element subjected to a compressive stress of negative 60 megapascals in the y direction and a tensile stress of 45 megapascals in the x direction. The radius of the Mohr circle is 60.47 megapascals. The shear stress in megapascals at this given stress state is most nearly what? So we need to pick that answer. So we know we're given sigma x, sigma y, and the radius of Mohr's circle. So let's write these. The radius is given to be 60.47, 60.47 megapascals. Sigma x is going to be the one in the x direction, right? So in the x direction, it's 45. It's a tensile stress, so it's positive 45. 45 megapascals sigma y is going to be the negative 60 and it's a compressive that's why it's negative and it's in the y direction right so it's going to be negative 60 megapascals and the end goal is to solve for the shear stress at this given stress state at this state so what we're going to do here is use this equation that's provided on page 133 Plug in R, sigma x, and sigma y, and solve for tau xy at this state. And in the calculator, specifically for tau xy, we will plug x. That's the unknown. And we will use the solver function. So now we will solve for the unknown tau xy, or unknown variable x, by using the Casio fx115. So we will use this expression and make sure to plug in the appropriate values for R, sigma x, and sigma y. So we will begin. We have the equal sign on the left is R. R is 60.47. So let's begin with that, 60.47. Then we have equals to. Make sure you put your equal to symbol. Don't use this. So we do alpha. And the equal to is in pink. We have to do alpha, this button, and we get that equal. Then we do the square root, so we have this whole thing, what's under here is in the square root. So we do the square root, which is this, and we have an open parenthesis. Then we have something on top and something on bottom. And the way we do that is by pressing this button, this fraction button in gray. So doing that, we have sigma x. Sigma x we know is 45. Then we do minus, so make sure you do that minus there. And sigma y is negative 60. So we do minus negative 60. So we do negative 60. And that is divided by 2. Then we close the bracket. We have an open bracket. Close that bracket. And we have to square all of this, right? So we square it by pressing this x raised to the 2. So it squares it for us. Then we do plus and the unknown variable is going to be x right so we're just going to solve for that x and we know x is in pink here so we have to do alpha x and we have to square it don't forget to square it so that's what we're going to solve for so we have the total expression right then the next step is to do shift solve so solve is here we press shift solve yes we want to solve for x click equal and it will solve for x we would wait and it should give us x is about 30. So that should be b.